every city, every place So here's our table. We're on the other side that we were at in 2012. Um, that was before we were vlogging. There is a special sunrise sipper alcoholic beverage menu along with specialty coffees. We can get Minute Maid juices and a variety of hot teas. Mushroom frittata, tomatoes and cauliflower, all sorts of um, pork products, corned beef hash, and vegetable scrambled eggs, oatmeal and grits, of course, and a variety of fruit. What is this? That looks awesome. of danishes, muffins, banana bread, sugar donuts, cinnamon rolls, lots of variety there. Hello! Even good old fashioned cereal, milk, and breakfast potatoes, looks like some red onions in there, yum. Regular biscuits. And sausage gravy, French toast and pancakes. Oh, caramelized bananas. Might have to get some of that on some French toast. And Mickey waffles. All right, so you get your syrup right here in this little cup. And we have strawberry um, topping, whipped topping, meats and cheeses. Smoked salmon, and then we're on to our bagels and cream cheese, muffins and toast, and jams, and the kids' Mickey waffles, chocolate chip pancakes, and of course, tater tots, which they call kids' hash browns, and Ketchup. Tom just started with some fruit and chocolate chip pancake and some French toast, coffee, orange juice. I got milk and orange juice. I started with um, scrambled eggs, piece of watermelon, banana nut bread, a um, like apple walnut type salad, and then I saw the vegetable scrambled eggs, mushroom, spinach, tomatoes, and something white in there. So. Bon Appetit. Our dog people hold on we have a visitor Donald came to visit <laughs> oh, what? hi Donald I know I'm loving the beach attire it works for you it's your style <laughs> picture with Donald so anyway remember when I was looked in and I said well Daisy's wearing something different that's because Daisy wasn't here. She, she said they, no, she, when we sat down, did you hear our um, server say that they've added Daisy since we were last here? I thought, I did yep. remember that, but I also thought I got a picture of her that she's here. She said she, must have been Minnie. Not Daisy, because I definitely did not recognize her outfit, so that explains why I didn't recognize her. Yep. So Donald is surfing. They're announcing something in the background. I think some type of like little 
party. I, I can't really understand what they're saying. So what kind of omelet did you have them make? Just basic ham and cheese. Okay. I'm gonna throw bacon in, but I saw bacon on the way over. I said, I'll have that stuff right So Tom got an espresso. Oh, and there's Minnie. Hi, Minnie. How are you? Sure. She's going to get a camp picture. All right. And they now officially have an omelet station. Well, there's a whole other room in there I didn't realize. We have found a beautiful spot to do the review for Cape May. Breakfast at Cape May. All right, so what was your opinion? Oh, hey, you know, out of the places we've been that are not some of the fine dining places, just a good place to get a lot of food, good food, fresh food, in a neat little atmosphere, characters, I like the place. Yeah, I, I like the the costumes, the favorite thing, my favorite thing is actually the costumes of the characters. Characters are always a, oh my goodness. <gasps> are they going to do it? Improv, oh my goodness. Hold on, are they going to do a meet and greet? <gasps> they are, oh my gosh. This never happens. <gasps> that little interruption guys but it was totally worth it i'll put in this uh one little clip of what just happened and the rest of it you'll have to see on the regular vlog when it comes out all right so the continuation of i think i was talking about the costumes I yes think that's the yes you were liking just, the costumes yeah. and then we got sidetracked with different costumes yeah different costumes so love their costumes the interactions with them were just fine the food um it was fine your, your typical breakfast buffet food that was really nice they've added the omelet station which was not oh, yeah. there when we were there in 2012 they've also added Daisy since 2012 you know there's really not much that I can really say about it other than if you're looking for a nice character breakfast and you haven't done this one it's worth it another reason it's worth it is that um you know plan it before epcot opens and then come on walk on over extremely short walk less than five minutes to international gateway which is the back way to epcot and you're in epcot really fast nobody in front of us um, to scan our bands nobody in front of us to go through security it's just extremely fast yeah you know it's uh for a character experience and an unlimited breakfast i think the price is pretty reasonable 36 maybe a person or something yep, like 36. that 36 but there there's no chance you're going to walk out of there hungry mm -mm. and you've got a nice variety of breakfast stuff and fresh fruits the fresh fruit there was actually the pineapple there was better than the aloha thing at uh, the Polynesian of all things. So, you know, I, I'm very pleased with this one. Yeah, the dining plan, the deluxe dining plan, well, not even a deluxe dining plan, but the dining plan for 2018 includes basically like an extra be beverage, and it can be an alcoholic beverage. Not an extra one, but... Um, yeah, I got, I got coffee and orange juice right. to drink as part of the normal breakfast. And then I also could have chosen like a Kahlua and coffee or so, or uh, you know, pizza, a, mo, what are those things called? Mimosa. Mimosa. Yeah. See, you can tell I'm yeah. not and, first uh, in alcohol. And I had a, uh, I had an espresso after breakfast and uh, just, there it was. Yeah. I, so the, the normal buffet, you can get juices, milks, coffee. So that was already included. So in addition to that, we could have gotten those extra drinks. I, milk and orange juice was fine with me, but he did have the little espresso for no extra cost that we don't know if it's gonna continue after 2018, but for 2018, you get that extra drink for breakfast. And- Well um, worth it on a morning you're heading to Epcot, that's yeah. for sure. And I planned it that way. It was like the morning we're going to Epcot was the morning we were eating at Cape May. So there's just a little uh, extra tidbit for you on how to get in Epcot a little faster and uh, 
less hectic, I guess would be the word to say. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you're probably wondering how did we get to Cape May? So we're staying on Disney property. We do drive in, so we had our own car and we drove to Boardwalk. Now granted, we are not leaving our vehicle at Boardwalk you know, till the park closes tonight. We will take an afternoon um, break. What are you mouthing? We didn't park at Boardwalk. We parked at uh, Beach Club. I keep club. saying Boardwalk. It's at Beach Club. If I said it earlier on where it was, it's not Boardwalk, it's Beach Club Resort. Um, you know, hence their beach costumes. But anyway, um, we will not be leaving our car there the whole entire day. We're actually gonna go back to the room, you know, about lunchtime or so. And nap. And nap. <laughs> yeah so wait i hope you like comment and subscribe and see you at the parks